It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This month's target species, brown bullhead catfish. Hey Washington Fish Questers, uh, I'm here at uh, Swafford Pond uh, with my uh, co-worker and buddy Jerry. I don't know if you have a friend that you talk to about fishing constantly. Um, they always want to go out, but then only seem to make it about once a year. That's uh, Jerry and I. At any rate, um, this is where I did the bluegill episode of May of last year. We're catching bluegill right now, but the main target is uh, brown bullhead catfish later tonight. Um, it's really good weather conditions out here, and uh, Jerry will say a few words about that. This kind of weather usually is really good because we've had low pressure over us for the last couple of days and it's starting to exit the area and it was light winds. And when we first got here we had a little bit of wind blowing just a little bit and then it started drizzling and when that water was hitting the, the pond here the lake we started getting some fish biting and uh, that seems to from my experience that little bit of drizzle after a long dry spell with that low pressure kind of activates the fish and we did catch some fish a couple of fish in a row there and then the rain stopped but we still have low pressure and we're catching fish, so this is great. This is all, this is like to me the ultimate weather for fishing. Jerry just took yet another bluegill here. He's just using a bare jig, no bait at all. Oh yeah, this one's giving giving him a little tug of war here. This might even be an eating size gill. Nice. Oh, that's a beautiful bluegill. Look at that. Alright, it's getting pretty dark out, so it's time to uh, rig up for catfish, and I'm going to uh, manifest a, a sweatshirt. Ah, ah, ah. Nice, it's my Westport Aquarium sweatshirt. Alright, well I was manifesting my shirt a uh, fish bit, which is pretty wild, because it just takes me a split second to do that. Whoop. Another nice bluegill. We got a little spotlight in the water here. You can catch brown bullet catfish in the daytime, but uh, at night the bite is right. It's nice to have a light to attract insects and kind of get a little food chain going that attracts the catfish. And uh, between those two trees I have wedged my uh, 1200 lumen bike light that I use to go squidding as well. Get that laid down there and uh, soon we'll be casting some night crawlers off the bottom right into it. Alright, I call this uh, meeting of the Midnight Society to order. <laughs> I'm uh, using uh, two hooks here, Got about a foot between them, uh, you have half a night crawler on each hook. Got a little uh, bass sinker weight here so I can feel the bite, and I'm going to cast it out right on the edge of the light. There we go. I had just snapped my line and was off replacing it at the car, and uh, Dre just pulled in the first brown bullhead of the night. Oh, that's a nice one, really. That's right, the first of many. Oh, oh there you go. There we go. Got my first brown bullhead on of the day. Oh. Not as nice as Jerry's, but I will take it. Oh, I think it's good. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't say not as nice. They're all basically the same, <laughs> it seems like. Um, here, if I can just grab this guy. Boy. As Jerry recalled, when you're sticking the hooks out, they sure have powerful jaws. You also want to look out for... Uh, they got a nice little spine right here. On their top dorsal fin there and they also got spines right here on both of these fins and again yeah they have a really raspy mouth that they like to bite you with oh yeah look at that all right we're gonna head in we only got a couple and uh i'm starting to theorize this just because there's so much of this uh algae and vegetation, you know, plant growth that happens in the summer sometimes, and uh, when we pull our worms up, they're just covered in slime, and we're getting these little itty bitty nibbles, which uh, we didn't know bullheads were capable of being so picky, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm kind of wondering if it's because the slime is making our uh, worms unappetizing. Hey Washington Fish Questers, it's uh, day two here. Uh, Friday after work, I decided to come back on down, try to see if I could get some brown bullheads out of a Swafford Pond. 
was a sweltering hot today. Um, I'm wearing a sweater, but that's just because uh, the mosquitoes are mighty bitey. And I am uh, sweating like a sweaty McSweaty Cuddy in this thing. Ooh, it's hot. All right, something I forgot last time, but I remember this time, and I'm very happy I did, is a glow stick. Just gonna break this guy. There we go. See, it starts glowing there. I'm just gonna place this on my rod when night falls in 10 to 15 minutes, and uh, that way I just have to keep my eye on the glow stick when it starts going like that. I know that a uh, brown bullhead is mouthing my bait. See, it's swaying, but there we go. All right, I'm gonna grab this pole here. Take this off. Oh yeah. go. Sorry if you can't really see me, fish questers. I am holding the pole. It'll be like watching a radio Washington fish quest. It's going to wait for one more bite. If it uh, comes, hard like it was, I'm going to let, let him have it. Of course, now that I picked it up and I'm yelling at the camera, it seems to have stopped biting. Oh, it's there. pretty good fish. Sorry again about not having a light on the on me so you can see the fight, but you'll see it for sure once I get it in. Ooh, all right. I called this uh, meeting of the Midnight Society to order. Again, <laughs> I never tire of that joke. At any rate, here's the brown bullet catfish. Very nice one. Uh, as good as anything we caught yet last time, that's for sure. Maybe even the hair bigger. Yep, took a worm and uh, yeah, Nice little fight to this guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. Woo. I was actually casting down a bit too far, I think. I brought it in a little closer to shore and immediately got this nice brown bullhead catfish. Again, I'm just catching and releasing tonight, but boy, if I was eating this guy, I'd have a couple nice fillets on him. Ooh, you're a good looking specimen. Yeah. Hey, fish questers, I thought this tree had some fruit on it. It's actually a bobber tree. Bobber tree, yeah. <laughs> That's where all the bobbers come from. 